Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So, Facebook made a change again, and my screen looks different. So, forgive me for that distraction. I'm not sure I'm live, but that's okay. Um, it's going out if it needs to go out, and if it doesn't need to go out, well, then, you know, it, it is what it is. So, all of that to be said is brings me right to my conversation, which is kind of funny. Not really. It's God's plan, right? In reading in Proverbs 16 today, we read about our plans, God's plans, our prosperity, good, evil. There's a lot of stuff in here, right? But in Proverbs 16, 2 and 3, it says, All a man's ways seem right to him. But Yahweh evaluates the motives. By the way, Yahweh is capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D in your Bible, right? Y-H-V-H or Y-H-W-H. I mean, it depends on, on how modern you are with your Hebrew. But so I, when I read L-O-R-D, all capital letters in my Bible, it just automatically translates for me into Yaba, or often automatically translates for me into Yaba. And so if you hear that in the future, you'll know why I do that and, and that description. So all a man's ways seem right to him, but Yaba evaluates the motives. Verse 3, commit your activities to Yaba. And your plans will be achieved. What do you got planned for today? What do you want to get accomplished today? Maybe you're just going to get on the bike and you're going to ride to Muskegon, Michigan for the, the bike rally. I uh, hear it's going to be amazing. Maybe you're on the road and you're going down to Texas for the Celebrate Recovery Summit this next week. It's going to be amazing. I don't get to go this year, but... Um, it's going to be amazing. Always is. If you're on your way there, that's great. Maybe you got up this morning and you got chores you need to get done. For me, I have several tasks that need to get done. I have a couple of things that got to get done and get out in the mail. So um, they'll be in Sturgis, South Dakota for the rally. Um, I'm not going to have all the patches this year because they, they didn't, we didn't have the time to get them pre-made. But if, if you need those patches, you get out there, talk to Anna, she'll get the order and we'll get those made. But there's a couple that had to get out there in the next week. So I've got them embroidered. I just got to get them finished and get them in the mail. I've got a couple of um, garments for a brother that needed to be mended, um, that need to get done. Um, I have a sermon to write. My dad's coming home on hospice today, and so I need to get him in the house and get him in bed and get him comfortable and, and get hospice paperwork signed and make sure I understand what all that means because this is my first time interacting with hospice as a, a patient family. Um, difficult things, right? I have the lawn needs to be mowed. I would love to do some work on the motorcycle. I need to, I have a trailer full of shingles that I really need to get off the trailer so that I can use the trailer again. Um, there's so many things that need to be done, right? So I could set my plans for the day and I'm going to tell you, here's what happens. I set my plans for the day. All these things have to get accomplished and all day long I'm stressing because nothing is getting done. I'm running here and there. Interruptions come. It just distracts me. I'm frustrated. I can't get anything done. How about you? You ever have days like that? I'm going to get on the road and I'm going to go ride today. And then everything happens. I got phone calls that have to happen and then this has to be done and that has to be done and the honeydew list this one thing it has to be taken care of before I can leave and by the time I get to the point where I can get on the bike it's too late to go for a ride you ever had days like that everyone does right here's what I can tell you every time I have a day like that it's because I didn't commit all of my activities for the day to God 
Every time I commit my activities to God and say, I want to do what's right for you, I want to honor you, here's what I would like to get accomplished today, but every single one of these, find a way for me to honor you in it. Let me not get frustrated, let me do it well, let me do it to the best of my ability, you know, whatever it might be. And I can promise you this, every single time I've managed to do that, and continue to do it throughout the day because it's a moment by moment situation. Because I often will commit my plans and my activities to the Lord and then take them back. But if I can remember to do it, at the end of the day, I've accomplished so much more. It was so much more of a peaceful day. Even though it might have been the most hectic day I've had in years, I've accomplished more and it's been more peaceful. Commit your activities to the Lord and your plans will be achieved. Get outside of yourself and put God first. I love you all. I wish you the best today. Lift my wife up in prayer, my wife and I up in prayer as we go through this next stage of life. And I look forward to interacting with you more in the weeks to come, and months to come. God bless. Have a great day. I love you all. I wouldn't say it, but I didn't mean it. Have a great day.